Hello, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. It's Friday, January 3rd, according to Bob Ross. Um, <laughs> I love this calendar, by the way. Um, you know, every day it's a new little masterpiece. Hope all of you are doing well today. We're going to have a, a, sort of a, a, a mini happy mail, if you will. Compared to the last happy mail that we did, it was a ton of cards and I was so delighted. And I'm always delighted to open mail from you guys and to hear from you and all that good stuff. Always. Um, there's a lot less this time, which I'm totally fine with, but I wanted to do it anyway. And also I did order uh, a package myself. So I know what it is, but I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, as Rose Likes Crochet calls it, retail therapy. Yes. <laughs> so we have a little bit of that as well. Um, and I'm going to show you that. But first, let's do the cards. Now, first up, I got this in my P.O. box the other day. And this is how it arrived. No joke. Actually, to be fair... This was this this was underneath here, so it was closed but not closed. So hopefully there was nothing else in it other than the card. Which don't get me wrong, I love cards, um, but hopefully there's nothing in said card. Um, this 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 was rather disconcerting. Um, did I say anything to them at the desk? No, because I figured the response would be. It happens. What do you want us to do about it? So, mm, what can you do? At any rate, I'm still happy to get the card. So, um, this is from New York, my home state. Yes, my my hat is being weird today. Don't know why. Let me pull it up a little. There we go. That's a little bit better, isn't it? All right. And this says, "Joy to the world." Mm, you know. I mean, yes, I know it's January, but hey, I still think we could use a little joy in this world, don't you? All right, this says, hello, just wanted to let you know that you are one of my absolute favorite crochet YouTubers. Well, thank you. I do my best and I keep trying. Uh, your voice is so soothing and you do fantastic videos. I'm getting a new camera that will have a better camera. Or do you mean a new phone that will have a better camera? Well, either way, kudos to you. Good job. Uh, wishing you a joyous holiday season and a prosperous, healthy new year to you too and to everybody. Um, hope you had a Merry Christmas. And this is from Pamela, the naughty crocheter. I hope you don't have a lot of knots to undo. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you very much to Pamela. And if that is uh, a YouTube channel, check out the naughty crocheter. All right, then we have, this is from Michelle in Wisconsin. So let's check out this cute little card. Oh my goodness. Okay, now it does say on the envelope, it says no need to read this on camera. So I'm not going to read it on camera, but I am going to show nice, pretty little feathers. Yeah, I like feathers. Actually, I've been wanting to, well, there's a million and one crafts that I've wanted to do in my time. And one of them was to make quills. Um, I have made my own ink before using, uh, what was it? Uh, instant coffee. Um, very, very concentrated instant coffee, and it creates a really nice sepia ink. Um, but I have never actually gotten to do that. There's a lot of things that I'd like to do, but what can you do? So I'm not going to read this on camera, but to Michelle, thank you very much. I will read this on my own. So thank you, thank you. And then last but not least, there is Diana from Ohio. hi -o, Ohio. <laughs> Hi-ho, hi-ho. And so let's see, let's see. But I did want to acknowledge that you sent the card and I thank you for that. All right, so this is Diana. All right, so joy and peace. Okay, this cardinal needs slim fast. My goodness, he, he's a fluffy little booger. <laughs> Woo. Oh, how cute. 
there's there's a little ornament in here. Isn't that pretty? That is very, very pretty. That's nice. I like that. You know, it's 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 simple yet elegant. I like it. You know, not everything needs to be over the top. I do like it though. You know, nice little Christmas colors. And also I give you a lot of credit because if you made this working with crochet thread, it can be it can be tricky, you know, and a little tip. If you are going to work with those really, really, really small hooks, use the ergonomic ones because, you know, with the grip on it, because it's so much easier than just the steel hooks. So let's see what the card says. You know, I've been digressing. It says, Merry Christmas. Greetings of the season with a wish for nothing less than all that fills your holidays with joy and happiness. Love to watch your work. Love to watch you work a yarny project from Diana. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very nice. I, I've gotten so many um, ornaments and I'm, I'm all happy. Now, the, the funny thing is, is that the tree that I have, it's like, yay, big. Um, so this actually, this size is perfect for it, you know. Um, so now we also have ourselves retail therapy. Yes, retail therapy. Now, when I get the bug, I when I get bitten by the creative bug, I get bit bitten by the creative bug. And lately, uh, if you watched my last video um, with uh, you know the the subscriptions knit crate and also the braid of the month club, um, I have been getting into spinning yarn more than I had been in quite some time. And I was perusing around and so on and so forth. And um, previously I had only really gotten my fiber, my, my wool from the woolery. And this time I found some from Paradise Fibers. Now I'm not affiliated with the woolery or with Paradise Fibers, but I'm letting you know so that if you want to find it yourself, you can. So let's open this bag, shall we? Alrighty, so going to be very, well, try to be very careful opening this. Now, like I was saying, I had gone to the, the Woolery, and that is where I picked up a couple of Malabrigo merino noob braids um, from the Woolery, and two that I picked up were in the colorway of glitter. It's not shiny, it's not sparkly, um, but it's very, very pretty. So I picked up two from there, and those were about $15 each. And then I did some more researching, and then I found on um, Paradise Fibers that they, the same thing apparently, was just a little bit cheaper, and they, well, because they were on sale. And on top of that, if you put in your email, then you got, I think it was like an extra 10% off. And then if you ordered enough from them, which this is how they get you, but hey, I'm not complaining. Um, if you ordered enough, and if you like, you know, if your order was X amount of dollars, then you could get free shipping. So retail therapy, and I need all the therapy I can get. So, uh, yes, this is, let me see here. Yeah, this is my invoice. And it doesn't say how much I paid each, but, 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 um, I bought 10, 10 braids, and it came to about, I want to say, $108 for 10 braids, which, in my opinion, in my unexperienced opinion, that's really good. Um, because as opposed to $15 per plus shipping, I'm, I'm cool, you know, because I, I want to say it was like maybe like 11 ish dollars thereabouts. It was, it was a few dollars less than the normal 15. Um, so let me just cut this tape. Now what I did was I bought 10 and I bought two of 
five colors each, so a total of ten, because honestly, I still don't know how much yardage I'm going to get from one braid. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to err on the side of caution, and there you go. So, what do we got here? Okay, now I want to show you the, the same ones together. Okay, so... All right, so this one's called Diana. And when I think of Diana, I think of like Greek mythology. How luscious are these colors? Oh my gosh, shut the front door, as Rose would say. How gorgeous. Mm, and then cheek test. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Just wrap me up in a whole big swath of this and I will be happy as a clam with tartar sauce. Oh my gosh, this gorgeous. So yes, I did buy two of these. And of course there are going to be some variations, but it is essentially the same colorway. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So I got two of those. And then... I think these are two more of the same. Uh, no, these are different. They look the same, but they are different. Hang on. Yep, they are. Okay. So, get the last one up here. Bear with me. I know, I'm intolerable, right? Okay. Right, so then we've got these. Now, this one is called Persia. How gorgeous. So you've got some blues, and it looks like some grayish browns. Ah, so gorgeous. Now, by the way, this is uh, roving. It's hand-dyed. It is 100% pure merino wool. It's four ounces, or 113 grams, approximately, and it is made in Uruguay. And so this is www malabrigoyarn.com but I got this from Paradise Fibers and so yes so this is the Persia colorway so pretty it's it's like a dark ocean you know with a little bit of mystique so that's the Persia we did the Diana and then we have do, do, do. Okay, this is, I think, probably one of my favorites. This is called Mostaza. And I bought two of these because you know I love earth tones. So you've got sort of a mix of greens and grays and like a little bit of gold in there. Gore, just, mm, just gorgeous. Love it. Very excited to be working with these. Then... We have two more colorways. Okay. Now this one is... Okay, it's called Aguas. Now this one also really... Unfortunately, the braid got... You know, the, the label got ripped. Now this one is very similar to Persia. I'll show you the two next to each other. But... On the picture, it looked considerably different, but, you know, next to each other, you know, this one, I think the, the blues are a little bit more rich, if you will. This one, it's a bit more subdued, but it is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Mm, yummy. And then, last but not least, I have, I, I believe you pronounce this Hojas. It's H-O-J-A-S. Hojas. And so we've got this one as well. Now this one, it's a bit more vibrant than the last two. Now what I was thinking of doing, you know, again, I am a novice spinner. I am very enthusiastic, but I'm still a novice when it comes to spinning. But what I was thinking of doing is to, you know, for those of you that know what I'm talking about, great. If you don't, We'll get into it, you know, because I do want to do a tutorial on spinning. But say, take a single ply of this, and then a single ply of this, and then 
<laughs> a single ply of this and a single ply of this and then plying the two together or actually I think that this and this if it were plied together you know this this together would look really cool um, or maybe this and this you know I don't know but it's food for thought you know and I am delighted. Now they also have a lot of other really cool colorways, some purples, um, some like rose colors. There are a lot on there, you know, whether it's paradise fibers or the woolery, um, just putting it out there, you know, um, because I believe in trying to give you guys as much information as I can in an unbiased manner. Now, did I get a good deal? I'm not 100% sure, but considering how long it takes to spin this, you're getting your money's worth as far as I'm concerned. Because say you go out to the movies and you spend $20 and two hours later you're thinking, okay, I'm never going to get those two hours back if you didn't like the movie. With this, it takes you a lot longer than two hours and you have something to show for it. So to me, it's worth it. You know, I like it. And then after you're done spinning it, you can then make a project with it. You know, it, it just, it's like the, the gift that keeps giving and giving and giving and giving. And then afterwards you can then wear said item. So to me, this is more of an investment as opposed to a throwaway, you know? So I do like it very, very much. Um, now there are a lot of other fibers out there. One of the ones that I've used also is called Heinz 57, also on the Woolery, and it's very reasonably priced. It's like $15 for a pound, which is crazy considering this is four ounces by comparison, but this is dyed, and it's, you know, finer wool. At any rate, <sighs> my goodness. So, with all of that yammering and that being said and so forth, thank you very much for the happy mail. And I'm thanking myself for the retail therapy. You know, it's, it's good to have sometimes, you know. And when there are sales, I kind of go for broke, even if it means going broke. Um, <laughs> um, and I just, I just jump on it because, like I said, I got, I got bitten by the creative bug and I wanted to do some spinning. So there you go. But... Um, I just wanted to share a little happy mail and to say hello, hello. And I hope that the new year, even though we're still in the beginning of the new year, I hope it's treating you well. And until next time, I want all of you, my yarnivores, to stay inspired, stay stitching, stay caffeinated. And, you know, if you are of a mind to stay spinning. Yes. And so I am going to make a concerted effort to try to do a spinning tutorial. Now, there are a million and one spinning tutorials out there already on YouTube. I know I've seen a whole lot of them, but I thought, why not? You know, I mean, am I brilliant? No, but I'm enthusiastic. What I, what I lack in talent, I make up for with enthusiasm. <laughs> I try. I try, you know, it's, it's, it's a work in progress. And, um, yeah. So with that being said, you know, I'm going to say the outro again. I want you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated and stay stitching. I love you guys. Thank you as always for watching. Please subscribe. Check out my other YouTube channel, Fiber Spider Games. Check out my Etsy store. Check yourself out, you know, because everybody, you know, everybody's awesome. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.